Live. How are you? Okay, I got to get it set up though, so hey. I can see. Yeah, I'll do it on my computer. Okay, yeah. How's it going, it. Facebook Live? Hi, you guys. We are getting. Oops. Um, I gotta <laughs> shut the door. So let me know if the show gets going. Oh, right. We want to block block quick. out the sound. A lot of stuff going on here. We are missing our videographer today. And both we of are. our, yeah, he is in Texas. So both of our uh, interviews today are going to be over the phone, but we're plugged in. So you guys should be able to hear those. So if you just want to double check and make sure we're live and that we are, um, that you can hear the sound of everything we've got going on. Our show's going to be starting here soon. So let me see. And I do have Diane on hold, although she doesn't go by D Diane, I guess. She goes by V, or what does she yeah, go by? Yeah, V. V. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you want me to patch her in with you? Uh, sure. All right. Um, do you see the live? Because I don't see it. Do you see it? Um, I, oh, not you. I'm sorry. I'm talking to, I'm talking to D. I, I, I do. I okay. see it in here. Okay. All right. I just, I'm sorry. Hey, Facebook friends. <laughs> Hi, you guys. <laughs> we are live, and we are trying to find all of the live videos that we have right. going on here. We're getting Hey, our... V, are you on the phone? All right. V is in with you. Okay. Hey, V, you there? Hey. I'm hey. Here. How are you, girl? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm awesome. My co-host, D, is here. Hi, V. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. All nice right. So we're going to get the show started here pretty soon. Um, I'll do an intro once they do the commercial. Um, and then we'll talk for just a second. And then we'll introduce you and bring you in. And then we'll just start a conversation. We'll have you go through the whole first Whole first segment, which is 16 minutes, then we'll go to break, and I'll kind of start wrapping up when we need to go to break and let you know that. And then um, when we come back from break, I'll have you share information of how people can get a hold of you and in touch with you, and then we'll go from there. Then we'll, uh, awesome. then after, yeah, after we move on to the next guest, you can stay on, uh, make comments, have chit chat. You can stay on the whole hour if you choose, uh, or you can drop off at that point. It's up to you. Okay, terrific. Sweet. All right. It's just about showtime here, so I'm going to send some feed your way. Have a good show. Thanks. Thank you. Can you check and make sure that the uh, volumes roll? I'll see. I just want to make sure that we've got volume on. On. Uh, there we go. Okay, we've got it. All right. Awesome. Okay. management. Yeah, they usually Perfect. can check that, too, from back there. It's going to be an awesome show. Yes. Woo! Welcome to Lead Up for Women. Speak up to lead up with Colleen Biggs and Dee Daniels. Are you ready to lead without permission and take the steps needed to live your best life? Whether you want to start hey, the Renee. business of your dreams Thanks or for joining us. your present and future accomplishments, you're definitely in the right Good place. Good morning. Now, here are your hosts, Colleen and Dee. Hello there, listeners. Welcome to Lead Up for Women, Speak Up to Lead Up. I'm your host, Colleen Biggs, and I am joined by my beautiful co-host, Dee Daniels. Hi, how are you guys today? And we are so thankful <clears throat> and woke up with gratitude today and are so happy to have the opportunity every single week to be able to be on the radio and speak to all of the ladies and gentlemen that are out there listening. Our numbers continue to grow. Uh, we are growing yes. by leaps and bounds. We are reaching so many countries now. Uh, besides the United <laughs> States, we're reaching an additional five countries on our show. So we are so blessed to be Absolutely. able to to reach all of the countries that we're reaching. And we have so many wonderful things that are happening at Lead Up for Women. And I continue to get messages uh, from women uh, about their struggles, uh, what they're going through. And I want to encourage all of our listeners and everyone that's out there on Facebook right. to reach out to us either via Messenger on Facebook. You can go to Lead Up for Women on our Facebook page. Right. You can email us at info at leadupforwomen.com. If you have a comment about a show, if you would love to hear a specific... specific say specific. that five times fast, You got right? it. Specific. And we're just winging it. <laughs> a specific uh, subject, please make sure that you contact us. Um, or if you're interested in calling in during the show, you can certainly reach us on any of our live shows that run on Wednesdays at 888 Three four six ninety one forty one. Right, uh, right. We've got our Atlanta luncheon coming up. Boy, that's we do. sneaking up that's on us like fast. So Less exciting. than a week away. 
Yeah. Really exciting. Can't wait to get to yeah. Atlanta. So if you're looking for, if you're in Atlanta, ladies, and or you're going to be in Atlanta for work, it's a three-hour luncheon, and it's going to be power-packed. We have mm-hmm. Afsana Abri and June Klein. Afsana was on our last week's show. She was. Yep. You can go Very. back and listen to that on Voice America and the Empowerment Channel. Just search Lead Up for Women. You can find us there, and you can listen to Afsana. Uh, she's, she's an amazing woman. Uh, you can listen to her story and a little bit about what she's going to teach uh, next Tuesday in Atlanta on the twenty se- on Wednesday. I'm sorry, on the twenty. Um, yeah, the twenty second. You can um, or on the twenty third. <laughs> the twenty third. I don't even know. Oh what my day. gosh! Okay. I think it's, no, it's the twenty second. Wednesday. Twenty second. And then you can also um, today on our second segment we are going to have June Klein, who is also going to be a speaker. And mm. all of that information, by the way, is available on our website at www.leadupforwomen.com forward slash events and you can see all of our events that are lined up so you can jump on and grab one but um for now well so how was how was your um uh week because i haven't seen you all (laughs) week so i I gotta catch up now (laughs) how was my week uh no my week was good my week is good. good uh like i said the videographer uh who we're uh, I'm I'm so lucky. I I just know it's just part of the plan. That's for me here on Earth. That mm-hmm. my husband is into videography and photography, right. and he follows us around. I know. And uh, we he's not him this here week. today. Yeah. He's not here. He owns two companies: Phoenix mm-hmm. Drone Pros. I'm going to give him a shout out yes, because I can. The drones. And he also owns Robert Worth uh, Films. Mm-hmm. And so, if you're uh, doing weddings mm-hmm. or uh, if you're looking for a drone pilot, he is available on those two websites. So you can go to those two websites and find him out there exactly. uh, and he's uh, in Texas doing a, a photo shoot for three mm. and a half weeks so okay that, wow three and a half weeks so yeah. he's gone you've got a lot of time on your yeah, hand I guess I we do. gotta hang out so, so. I do a lot of working <laughs> you get a lot I of do, work done I do a lot of hanging yeah. out uh, connecting with women I teach fitness classes at exactly, night exactly uh, so you know anyone out there that is thinking about becoming a personal trainer reach out to me mm. I will help guide you through the process it it was a tough process but I will wow. help guide you through that. So, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Same yeah. Here. What have you been up to? Well, I, I've been here um, uh, getting a lot of uh, work done, working on various projects and uh, reaching out to various women all around uh, the world as we're putting together some of these other conferences. So I think we're going to have some really interesting uh, mm-hmm. women lined up in the future. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I've been doing and um, hanging out with family and, and trying to balance all those things like we, yeah. we do as women yeah, every single right. week. Yeah. And now <laughs> but, our Philadelphia uh, luncheon is out now. We've got our three right. speakers that are ready for that one. Uh, right. We have uh, uh, Sharon and we have Gina and and we have Marnie. Mm. Uh, you guys have got, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about them at the end of the show, so I don't want to give too much away of who right, each one right. of them are, but we'll talk about we'll them. We'll talk about them later, but, <clears throat> but that we, way they get some insight on, on what's been going on. But I'm like giddy excited right now because yes. we have an, um, uh, an amazing guest that's on the line, and her name is Diane V. Capaldi, and I know she goes by V. She's right. a TEDx speaker, founder, and inspiration for Paleo Boss Lady Incorporated, and uh, what I love about her talk Title is she says she's a badass. So uh, V, Miss Badass, welcome to yeah. the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I got to tell you, I'm so jealous that you guys are. You know, I'm from Philly. I wish I was living in mm. Philly right now so I could attend your luncheon. I saw that on your website. Yeah, I'm so excited wow. for my Philadelphia family. Girl, um, we're going to be in yeah. LA, and that's not a that's not a long drive from no. Southern. You know, if you're if no, you're down, yeah. actually. Mm. Yeah, when are you in L.A.? We're going to be in L.A. in October. So I plan That's to right. see you then. Well, so we'll see you there. Plus, you know what, though, V? You can let all your friends in Philly know so that they can come yeah. out and hang out with us. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely will. Yeah. I'll let my friends in Philly and my friends in L.A. know. I will definitely see you in October. Yes. And, uh, in L.A. for sure. Yes, I would, love, I would love for you to even have a bigger part. So let's chat about you uh, being on the panel there. Because I think that would be yeah, no, that would wonderful be for, you know, we're here at Lead Up for Women. We're about providing these platforms for women to be able to share their struggles and their stories and their celebrations and right, celebrate absolutely. with them as well as their businesses, because we're all about helping women thrive. Absolutely. Uh, so that's why we're doing Which it. So I love I love more <laughs> than anything, because um, 
it's it's needed for all of it. Yeah. You know, uh, community is my drug of choice. So, yes, my drug uh, anything too, girl. That, <laughs> yeah, it's a great drug. And, community. you know, unbeknownst to me, yeah, I started taking this drug at a very young age and didn't realize how important and addicted I was to community until, really, until my 40s. I mean, I'm, you know, getting closer to 60 every day. But yeah. um, <laughs> it took me a long time to realize that, a lot of the greatest things in my life have been a result of the fact that somehow mm-hmm. I've always been able to cultivate community, even at a young age. Um, and uh, any any organization that works on cultivating community, mm-hmm. I love, especially a community of women. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I love community so much yeah. that in my 40s, I went back and got a master's in community psychology just to wow. build on the science of building yeah. Awesome. communities. Yeah, that's so I am a community addict. Heck sure. yeah. Awesome. Well, tell us about, um, you know, you, you have uh, so much written and you've been out on TEDx, you know, on, on uh, TEDx as a speaker. You've had, you've had a quite a life and I, I would love for you to share with our listeners as well as our Facebook friends that are listening live how your life has been all about you being a boss from the beginning. You know, it's really funny. My, uh, when I was born in 1963, the, um, your, your, the fathers weren't allowed in the delivery room. So mm-hmm. the first time my dad saw me was in the nursery. And he said that the first time he laid eyes on me, I was almost 11 pounds when I was born. Mm-hmm. Um, all the nurses in the nursery were, t- were taking orders from me. Mm-hmm. Like I was in control from the minute my dad <laughs> saw me. So. <laughs> Really, by the I time I was that. in third grade, I remember my teacher, Mrs. Cupsey, calling me out into the hallway and literally saying to me, you're like Lucy on the Peanuts. You really are. Like, when you grow up, that's what I envision you to be. And now that I have a master's in psychology, I'm like, well, I guess I kind of am. I yes. did all my work for free, you yeah. know? So I, wow. I think I was just born mm-hmm. this way. I'm from Philly. I was born under the sign of Taurus, and I'm 100% Italian. So, you know, those things kind of lead to a bossy, badass sort of existence. Oh, yeah. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, I really think I count by a lot of it, honestly. Um, I really, you know, I have to tell you, my biggest motivator in life was hearing other people saying I would never amount to anything. Mm-hmm. Wow. So um, when I was younger, my mom was a prescription pill drug addict. I mean, you hear more about that now than you oh, did sure. when I was like, I didn't know anybody that was taking mm-hmm. Percocets and stuff like that every day and wow. living that horrific prescription pill drug life. But that was my childhood. My mm-hmm. mom was a straight up from the day I was born till the mm-hmm. day she passed at a very young age addicted to drugs and wow. alcohol and gambling and turned to street drugs like the typical story you hear. My father was drafted at the age of 18 and fought in World War II, was in active combat, and as those stories, went up on a mountain with 8,000, came back only 500, and he's mm. one of those left standing, and he had severe PTSD, which was not diagnosed because I don't think anyone knew mm. what that was then, yeah. but I can tell you as a kid growing up, loud noises, just mm-hmm. weird things would trigger my dad into violence, uh, wow. mm-hmm. fisting walls, violent acts upon our family, just violence. So mm-hmm. I was raised in that environment, and you yeah. weren't able to keep that a secret as a kid because ambulances were always at your house. Yeah. Your dad was mm-hmm. beating. Yeah, you know, your dad's beating you, so you're calling the neighborhood dads to come and save you. And wow. so that was my childhood. And you would hear other parents be like, oh, I feel so sorry for those kids. They don't have a chance. And that, to me, was my ticket to, like, badassness. Because it's like, really? Well, let me show you how it's done. So I've always had that attitude. Like, don't tell me what I can't do, because I'm going to show you what I can do. (laughs) Yes! 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 That is, like, my freaking motto and my slogan. Yes. That just gives me my fire. I love that, girl. Love that. Yeah, I mean, that is really, you know, the foundation of, and I'm very headstrong, so Mm -hmm. it takes me a while to sort of maybe be able to see my way clearly Mm -hmm. through a situation, but I have been blessed with the ability to break things down into small, slow, sustainable steps so that at each step I take, I, like, I know my feet are on solid ground, so that yeah. by the time I'm in the run phase, like, you can't catch me, you mm-hmm. know? Um, so I've, you know, had sort of that great success in living my mm-hmm. life that way and also learning how to be um, very efficient. Um, so 
the sad truth is, by the time I was 23 years old, you know, living in an environment like that doesn't create, you know, the best um, emotional and physiological and psychological outcomes. And I developed multiple sclerosis, Mm -hmm. which, um, you know, stress is a known trigger. And I lived in fight or flight from day one of birth. Mm -hmm. Um, I was fortunate because my mom wasn't using necessarily when she had me, where my two sisters were removed from the house when they were born. So Mm -hmm. at least I had a fighting chance, I feel like. And my two sisters had some psychological issues and my I have a tremendous amount of physical issues. So mm-hmm. I do have uh, multiple sclerosis. I do have Epstein-Barr virus. I do have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And I also probably have Lyme disease, but mm. I've just never oh. had um, the need for testing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for me, by the age of 37, I became legally disabled from the effects of MS on my body. And the most amazing thing that happened to me was when I was diagnosed at 23, they told me, do not get pregnant and don't go out in the sun. Um, I was young and bullheaded oh. and uh-huh. didn't listen to them and got pregnant right away of and course. bought a beach house, like literally. <laughs> exactly oh, my gosh. Doctor, yes. Yeah, it told me. And when I got pregnant with my daughter, she put me into remission for 10 years. So then I thought, well, you know what? You guys, excuse my French, but the medical profession are assholes because they have no Mm. idea what they're saying. Mm. Because I did exactly what they told me not to do, and somehow it made me better. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, um, yeah. So in in that time where I was healthy and before I was diagnosed with MS, um, I got into the technology sector, and that was in the early mm-hmm. 80s, and I built and sold quite a few technology companies. Mm-hmm. So I had a very successful, powerful career mm-hmm. where nine out of ten times I was the only woman sitting at a boardroom table, mm-hmm. and I was on the board of the National MS Society. Mm-hmm. I was on the board of a division of the Maytag Corporation. I was on the board of many internationally public companies, mm-hmm. and like I said, I was always not only the only woman around the table, but someone living with a debilitating disease that, quite honestly, nobody even knew. Um, Yeah. And felt very uh, proud that I got to play in a man's world, but I also knew that the lens that I was viewed um, was different than the lens everybody else at that table Mm -hmm. was viewed. Um, For me, it was a little easier to overcome that, Mm -hmm. those issues, because I ran sales and marketing. So my job was the uh, you know, you could easily figure out if I was doing my job by the numbers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, you don't hit your numbers and you're not doing your job. I mean, that's the curse of a salesman, or you do hit your numbers and you're doing your job and you make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I hit 27 quarters. I never missed wow. a number. So, you know, you know, so I, I just literally never let them see me sweat and carried my head very high right. um, and knew what I was accomplishing. So for me, I just served it kind of cold, meaning that I didn't engage in confrontation. Mm-hmm. I just um, I just was a badass, and <laughs> you couldn't deny what I was able to do. Wow. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that that's that's uh, uh, that's amazing. But I do want to uh, pause for a second here and go back just a little bit because you're saying a lot of really important things, and I want to make sure the audience really gets to know um, who you are and what you've done, and, and you've really uh, made some strong points, especially as as far as being a woman in technology. And I know a little bit about that, so I do want to stop you and try to backtrack there a little bit, and let's talk a little bit about what type of tech companies you started because um, you said you started several tech companies, and, and obviously that mm-hmm. took you uh, to, to making uh, quite a bit of money, becoming a millionaire, and we need to let women know, you know, what you did and, and how you, you mm-hmm. came about that. Yeah, well, it's funny. The first company that really delivered that to me was my friend was an accountant for this company, mm-hmm. and it was a, a guy that was in college at Swarthmore College that developed scalable font technology, which what is that? When you use a font on a computer, yes, that's scalable font technology. Well, mm. before he invented this, it was a cartridge. So you would buy a piece of hardware and stick it in a printer, and that that cartridge would be Times Roman, and that's all you would get. <laughs> and you'd get maybe yeah. a few point sizes. So this college kid was like, I'm going to make it software driven. So my friend was his accountant, and he literally just developed this product in his in his college dorm, put an ad in a paper, and sold a million dollars worth of product. Oh so now he's gosh. like, well, I guess I have a, a company and a product. Mm. His accountant was my friend, <laughs> and, and my friend reached out to me. It was like, we just go talk to this guy because I, I don't know. You're a salesperson. He, you know, he probably 
you know, you could probably just advise him. Right. So I met yeah. with him, and immediately he was like, no, you're the person. I want you, I want you, I want mm-hmm. you. And at that time, I was recently diagnosed with MS and, um, you know, had a kid and was just not really interested in, mm-hmm. in listening to that and then and taking that job. But a couple months later, people started talking about this product, so mm-hmm. I called them back up. And I was like, pardon me, excuse me, but did you fill that position? Because now I'm starting to hear people talk about this product, so you probably aren't on to something. <laughs> and he's like, I felt like I was stood up at the prom, and you said, no, I want to hire you. Oh, wow. He literally was working out of an apartment. And so basically scalable font technology mm-hmm. we brought to market, and six years later, we sold that company for about $34 million. Wow. Wow. Oh, no, that's that's, awesome. that's what an impressive. accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's an accomplishment yeah, for sure. So, and that was an organically funded company, mm-hmm. meaning that he used his own seed money, mm-hmm. and as we made money, invested money back in, and then we built it very slowly that way. Right. After that, I went on to build venture funded companies. So, okay. what they were was have an idea, go out and pitch it to large venture capitalists or investors, get them to invest money with it the understanding that within three to five years, you're going to flip that company. Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a very hectic, crazy game. Yes. But I also played that, yeah, that game. And one of the companies that I, that we built was anytime you use a credit card, other than like a gas pump. So if you use a credit card at a parking meter mm-hmm. or a vending machine mm-hmm. or the laundromat, that technology, we, we had that idea and Maytag Corporation at the time was the largest producer of vending machines in the world. Mm. So we were able to get $10 million from Maytag Corporation to invest in that idea Mm. and ultimately did sell that company to another venture fund about, I don't know, maybe somewhere within the three to five years later. Hey, V, we're going to swing to break real quick. Uh, And I just want to remind our listeners that we are on the phone with V, the paleo boss lady and and miracle badass that just refuses to let anyone pull her down after being diagnosed with MS. She just never gives up. So we're going to be back to speak to her in just a few minutes. So everyone stay tuned. All right, good segment. We're all clear. Okay, thanks. All right, wow. V, we're still here. Yes. And we have Facebook Live <laughs> okay. still going, so they Hi, can Facebook still hear Live. you speaking. How are you guys? It looks like we've got some, some yes, people we do. there um, So we uh, have AJ and Hi, AJ. How Ashlyn are you? and Trisha. We want to uh, thank Ashlyn. all of you for Hi, joining Ashlyn, us Trisha. today. Uh, today's show is awesome, V. I I'm so excited that you are here uh, after after learning about you and reading about you and now speaking to you. Uh, it, I just love your never give up and you don't have to listen to what the masses are saying. And it, right. to me, it's about being different in an indifferent world. And that's really what we stand for, too. Uh, That's true. I love your I love your message, and I know that it's going to go over really strong today. Very inspirational for our listeners that are out there on uh, Voice America that are listening. So for all of you on Facebook Live right now that are listening, you can go out to Voice America Empowerment Channel and search uh, "Lead Up for Women" or "Speak Up to Lead Up," and you'll find us. Right. Um, V, we will make sure that we put uh, as you're speaking and tell everyone how they can get in contact with you, which when we get into the second segment, we'll wrap that up, too. When we're wrapping that up and asking uh, your information, we will post that on our Facebook feed as well. Right. So everyone can also have your information there. Feel free on our Facebook page to go post and comment on the Facebook live feed uh, for any additional information you want to put out there as well. Absolutely. So or hashtag uh, yeah. lead up for women. Uh, yeah. Or lead without or, permission. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So just so that you know, that's available to you out there as well. I love it that you're from Correct. Philly. I'm from New Jersey. So I think it's an East Coast thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many times people have told me no. And I'm like, you know what? Like, you can't do that. Or that that's something that's, you know, you're not qualified for that. I'm like, watch me. What? That's what I always say. Watch me. <laughs> I, yeah, I just that fuels my fire. <laughs> oh, people should right, say Sorry that. to interrupt you, but we're coming back in about 10 seconds. <laughs> OK. All right. We'll bring you back in in just a second, B.
We need two photos right here in front of us uh-huh. of our of our speakers that are on the phone. Maybe uh, maybe Bill can uh, post their photos up on uh, Facebook on the feed. So yeah, absolutely. I can just go in there. Yeah, I can post them after the show too. That's true. You may also send an email to info. It's technology. That's right. We can do whatever we, we can want. do anything. <laughs> no, we can do whatever we want in here. That, that's right. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening. I, we are back. Uh, yes, yes, we're back. We are back with Lead Up for Women, Speak Up to Lead Up. I am your host, Colleen Biggs. And I am your co-host, Dee Daniels. Welcome. So yes. we have been speaking with V, mm-hmm. uh, the miracle badass that uh, started pa- <laughs> Paleo Boss Lady badass Incorporated, v. which we haven't even gotten <laughs> to yet. So V was sharing with us before the break that she was diagnosed with MS yes. and how she's overcome that. Oh. And what what led you to the health driven uh, change of diet, Paleo Boss Lady? Of you, of you, fi- you know, being the founder of that company, desperation yeah. <laughs> and need for community. I had um, as my disease progressed, I eventually lost bilateral use of both of my hands. I had no feeling on the left side of my body. Mm. I had trouble swallowing, which kills most of us from MS. Mm-hmm. Wow. I had involuntary limb jumping, meaning almost like uh, my my legs and my arms sort of flailing around. So I couldn't drive. I couldn't care for myself. Mm. I had full-time help, people living with me. And mm-hmm. all of that money that I had went to Western medicine. Because in America, our healthcare system will bankrupt you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a <laughs> consumer-driven, money-making yeah. reality. And it took uh, even being on the board of the MS Society, being a type A overachiever, yeah. doing all that stuff, I listened to everything the doctors told me. Right. I just got sicker and sicker. So wow. it wasn't until I didn't have any money and I was contemplating suicide um, mm. that I realized maybe our system is broken and maybe I should stop listening to Western medicine. Mm. And I went to Burning Man, which is a festival in the oh, desert yeah. that built. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of things mm-hmm. that happen in Burning Man, but I went there because they have a temple, and I went to the temple every day to pray wow. to figure out what I was supposed to do. And the message came to me loud and clear mm. that I needed to own my life, and I needed to stop just going to a doctor and saying, what's wrong with me, and them giving me a pill and me just saying, okay. Um, you know, they're thinking of if I have heartburn, if I take a antacid, then I can eat the pizza and forget about the heartburn rather than listening to my body saying I have heartburn. Like I had to change the way I was thinking about stuff. Mm -hmm. So I locked myself in the house for a year. And in that year I dug really deep and I had already been studying Buddhism and yoga and Mm -hmm. self-love and all those things. Uh, Then I added food to the equation. And today, as far as we know, I'm potentially the most skilled person in the world who has MS using only diet and lifestyle. I take no drugs. I see no doctors. I spend no money on Western medicine. I take care of myself 100%. All of my health care is free and accessible. And this is after spending $2.5 million in liquid assets listening to Western medicine and getting sicker and sicker. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So you yeah. must have a lot of followers then of of women. And we'll, we'll post the link up there. Uh and, and if you want to share with us, is there a specific link that women or men listening can get to to find the way that you utilize, you know, the diet? Is it, is it your website? Could you share with Sure. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, my website is paleobosslady.com, super mm-hmm. easy to find. And then on social media, Facebook is my Paleo Boss Lady again, sort of day to day. And then Instagram is sort of a snapshot into, again, Paleo Boss Lady, you know, what I'm cooking, what I'm eating, things like that. Oh, um, good. But if you just want a quick snapshot, I would go to Facebook. If you want to, like, dive into more blogs yeah. and sort of the nitty gritty, there's mm-hmm. um, my website for that. And I answer everyone, so if you reach out to me, I will respond. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a result for me, you know, what resulted in this was I decided to sell all my possessions about four years ago and Mm -hmm. took to the streets, traveled around America helping anyone that needed help for free. And just a week ago, I settled back in California and I'm living in an apartment for the first time in about four years. But I served the community sharing my free and accessible health care face-to-face and now through social media. V, you know, I, I, I got to ask you this because I, I read this in your bio. I mean, is it true that uh, your then husband actually told you he was going to the movies and left out and never returned? Yeah, actually, the day 
we had taken two years off and traveled the world to try and take, we thought that if we moved, removed me from stresses, mm -hmm. that maybe that would be a way to heal. Mm -hmm. And in actuality, the person I was with was the problem. But when we came back, <laughs> we went six days after we got back, we went to my doctor in Philly mm -hmm. and he sadly told me that I had moved on to secondary progressive MS. My husband drove me home, said he was going to the movies and never came back. Wow. That's just wrong. I, That's yeah, just wrong. it felt wrong. It's wrong, it's but so also wrong. a motivator, yes. I bet. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I'm a true believer that everything in our lives happened for a reason. And if you wouldn't have been diagnosed with MS, if you wouldn't have gone through the struggles that you did, if he didn't leave uh, and go to the movies and not come back, you wouldn't be the person you are today. And I just want to say from Lead Up for Women, thank you from yes. the bottom of my heart. Thank you for giving up everything you have to go out and help spread the word of how healthy you can be and how you can fight this disease the way that you're doing it. It is it is needed in this country, and uh, we will do everything that we can in our power through the platforms that we have to blow this up for you because more people need to understand and learn how to live that clean life to be Absolutely. able to control these diseases. I so agree. So agree. And we thank, you thank you so you much. Enough. You know, the reality is, is that, you know, the motivator is really a self-love lens. Mm -hmm. I don't do this because I have MS. I do this because I'm worthy of yes. these actions that I take. Yeah, so, absolutely. you know, you know, that is where the real, you know, the Willy Wonka golden ticket is, is that, you know, a life motivated by self-love, you live your best life every single day. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl, you are like speaking the words of Lead Up for Women, and we love you so much, and thank you for being here today. And yes. uh, you look for look for uh, all of our events, because if you're in L.A. or you're going to be anywhere in L.A. in October, I can tell you right now she's going to be there, and right, I want her right. on the panel, yep. and I will drag her there, but I, I want her <laughs> to be there. So thank you again, V, thank for you, joining v. us today. We appreciate that. Thank you, and, Lita. Uh, yeah, thank Absolutely. you so much. So, listeners, next we have June Klein on the line. Yes. And she is the president of the Center for Laughing and Learning. And let me tell you, I love her slogan where R O I meets L O L O L. <laughs> June, are you there? I am here. Hey, hey. girl, how are you? Well, I am up to amazing myself, and y'all are too. I've been listening, in and oh my gosh, what great job! You're we doing. love Thank you, you June. Me. Thanks, June. Hey, you guys. Hey, you listeners. Guys. All of our Facebook peeps out there, uh, as well as. Uh, our listeners on Voice America, June is going to be one of our panelists in the Atlanta yes. uh, on the 22nd. We're going to be in Atlanta, and you can find those tickets at uh, www.leadupforwomen.com forward slash events or Eventbrite. We're also on Eventbrite, so you Absolutely. can go there, too. So, June, I this is where I struggle the most and probably why... I uh, lend myself to listening to people that can tell me how to enjoy the journey. And, and that's what I get from your, your bio about the power of laughter and how that can build a team or build just a person. Can you mm -hmm. talk a little bit about how you got into that and, and your journey and why laughter is so important to you? Yes. Absolutely. I was relating, um, not quite at the, the, level of your previous guest and yet the pain i mean most mm -hmm. comedians uh, they say that the humor comes out of pain and i fancy myself a humorist as a matter mm -hmm. of fact i'm known as the southern sassy and savvy harley riding humorist <laughs> so and so to me there's a little bit of a difference between comedian and humorist I'll go ahead and share. I believe that comedians tell jokes more set up punch, set up punch, and a humorist tells stories that end mm -hmm. with a big punch. So <clears throat> the way all this came about was my my stepdad. Uh, growing up with a stepfather, and I like to say that uh, my my stepdad, which he was the only dad I ever knew, so he was my dad, and I used to say that my dad had the three M's. Mm -hmm. He was either mean, mentally ill, or a moron. <sighs> so when mm. I would uh, come home after I left home, I'd come back and uh, he'd say, Junie, are you still in the therapy? That's what he called it, the <laughs> therapy. 
And I would say, yes, sir, I am. And your name comes up quite often. And he thought it was a compliment. So I learned at an early age that sparring and our using humor was definitely a boundary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So that led over into my my corporate world Mm -hmm. because I had years of... Sparring and learning uh, the comeback, the punch, the punch out with my dad, mm-hmm. and so my humor became very. It was pretty caustic. I mean, I can take you out about your knees, and as somebody has said, you don't even know you're bleeding, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because it's just that that line that it just it pops into my head. I've had the practice of it. So when I was in corporate, and I would be in situations that were difficult or trying or whatever, I could come up with a punchline that would ease the tension and and actually take take it forward. And I would get promoted because I, w- I had a sense of humor and I was funny. And oh, by the way, you do have to be competent. You do have mm-hmm. to have your... Um, Stuck together, as we say, mm-hmm. and and then when you can layer it with humor, it just that's that is oftentimes the difference between getting a job and not mm-hmm. is making them laugh in an interview, and I could score with that. Yeah, because it's about not taking yourself so serious, right? That again, it, it in enjoying the journey and and having humor in what you do because you write your story, June. You you hold the pen; no one else does, and it's refreshing to to hear somebody who you utilizes being a humorous um, as almost like your key uh, to get. Uh, and into any gateway that you're looking to get through because it's it's so it's different mm-hmm. in an indifferent world. It yeah. is. Yeah. It, I mean, it's kind of interesting to me that you would take uh, something like humor and, and uh, laughter and turn it into a business model. Mm-hmm. So I guess for me, I, I guess I want to know a little bit more about how that came to be. When was it that you said, okay, I've been doing this uh, throughout my mm-hmm. career. Uh, it's something that works for me. And I think it's something that can be applied to the world of business. And I'm mm-hmm. going to be that person that starts this company. So how did that come to be? Let's talk a little bit about that. Perfect. I It, it really was an organic, natural progression from my dysfunctional family life. Mm-hmm. So I ended up in student financial aid, which everybody knows how humorous student financial aid is. <laughs> well, it turns out it... Oh. See, there you go. So there you, you go. Quite, there's that answer. <laughs> you, you, you reverse, you reverse, state the reverse yeah. ob- obvious. So, yeah. so what happened, I was sitting at my desk one day and, you know, I had hundreds of files and this is way back in the day. Like, I'm talking 30 years ago, y'all, where computers were just uh, you know, somebody's uh-huh. dream. Uh-huh. Um, they were still in their their in, in <laughs> jo- Steve Jobs' mind yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I was sitting there at my desk one day looking at the student forms, and I had had a horrible morning with mm. um, my my not my boss, my boss's boss, mm-hmm. and she was just out to get this um, Southern Belle, as she called me. So she was gonna fire. She was trying to fire me, and I came back to my office that day, and I was gonna just get my purse and walk out. Well, being the human that I am, I saw this stack on my desk of about thirty files, and mm-hmm. I thought, "Oh my God, if I leave, they won't get their money. They'll be this mm-hmm. is gonna be bad for them." So I thought, "Calm down, sit down, do this, do this stack of students, and you can just quit tonight, quit today." Mm-hmm. So. About file number five under on the application, mm-hmm. under sex on the application, one of the darlings had written, yes, but I was sorry. Hmm. Hello? Yeah, we're here. She, no, she wrote. <laughs> Instead what it, of male or female, they, they wrote under sex. They said, yes, but I was sorry. 
So that made me laugh so hard. Oh, okay. See, I'm slow. I'm oh, like, my gosh. What? It took me a minute. I, okay. I got it now. Sorry, yeah, we're a little notice slow. Notice the pause. I was yeah. giving you for the laughter yes. when it happened. <laughs> but well, I was, yeah. That's, that's another lesson is don't step on your laughter. But when it doesn't yes. come, you got to move on. So thank you, ladies, yeah. for demonstrating that. Ah. <laughs> I, I I was listening to you, and when you said that, I was like, "Wait, I don't I don't get it." But I okay, so we it made got, you laugh. We got it yeah. now. Yeah. So I we have a few minutes for break, so I definitely I want to finish this story. So go ahead and tell me. So that that you they made you laugh. So the and, point yeah. is, um, I started collecting student bloopers, the funny things that ah. they would put on application, and then we were going through this crazy turmoil as an industry, mm-hmm. and um, people were fighting each other in the industry mm-hmm. because direct student lending was coming in versus bank lending and you had to choose sides and it was ugly just like we had had some ugly moments in my family Mm -hmm. so i knew that my student bloopers would make people laugh and i volunteered to give a speech in front of 300 people like i knew what that kale i was doing and (laughs) made them laugh excuse me and at the end someone came up and said how much would you charge to come do this at our State Association, and I jokingly said, well, how much have you got? And they said, we have a $1,000 honorarium, and of course, we would pay for your travel. And I was like, I'm so there for you. <laughs> your answer was, was yes, of course I'll be there. Tell me the date. I'll check my yeah. schedule. <laughs> wow. And that started a 30-year career. Oh, that is awesome. I love wow. how that started. Just collecting student bloopers. <laughs> Because someone, and so did you get these a lot then? Was this some, like, how did you collect those from, were they all from applications or were they just random? Did you start looking then, start searching? Well, of course, then I started yeah. searching. Mm-hmm. But yes, there were enough that were coming yeah. across my desk that, um, and some of them were pretty painful and not funny and sad and that sort of thing. So you didn't use that, but something right. that was latent, like under sex, they would put yes, no, sometimes. Twice. I mean, it was real crazy stuff like that. Yeah. And then uh, on some of them, we asked for the address. They didn't know it. Yeah. So they drew a map on the envelope. <laughs> they drew, like, you know, I-75, <laughs> the road that exited, and it got there. So Wow, oh that's God. hilarious. That, okay, that just goes to show <laughs> the power of the human, like, like how every single one of us, uh, filter information that we're either reading or hearing. It's through our own filter. No one can understand it. It's because we are so unique in our own right that w- when you when something's written on an application, they're answering it literally the way that they are reading that. And what, it, but it might have been meant for something else. It's just amazing exactly. to me the difference of how we are as people. And, and June, we've had a wonderful time speaking with you. And don't go anywhere. We, we want you to come back after break. So, right. ladies and, and gentlemen, okay. we're going to roll to break. And we're talking with the humorist June Klein yes. in the Center of Laughing and Learning, where ROI meets LOL. We will be back in a few minutes with June Klein. Stay with us. All right. Good job. We're all clear. Back all right. in a couple. Thanks. June, you're doing awesome. Yes, you are, June. Thanks for waiting. I know you broke out of a meeting to come and hang out with us, and I'm sorry we were a little bit later getting you on. Um, You know, you never know where these are going to go because they're very organic conversations. So we want to make sure. And I know that you're going to have... Uh, a lot, you know, a, a, a large platform next week mm. to be able to to speak on, and uh, you'll be able to meet D and I in person. Absolutely, I look Alex forward will be to there. that. Very exciting, and um, that's awesome. We will. I, I know that already. We have put your photo up and your website up on Facebook Live as this there has been is. going through. <laughs> so um, our social media. Um, phenomenon uh beauty uh bill she's yes. out there doing thank you all of bill the posts. we're we're excited we love thank you, you. We and do. um she's she's on it she's on it all the time out there so we'll when we get back from break we will um have uh you share with us uh one last uh, story of inspiration mm-hmm. and then we'll go ahead and roll into um how the, everyone can get in contact with you and we probably have mm-hmm. about we will probably have about 12 minutes to mm-hmm. go through about that 12, and yeah, then so. and then uh then D and I'll wrap up because we want to get another little plug out there uh for Atlanta um for all of our Facebook listeners that are yes. uh, watching right now mm-hmm. uh, if you have any friends that are in Atlanta 
there are going to be in the Georgia area. Let them They're know. not going to want to miss this one. Right. Uh, between Afsana, Abri, and June Klein, uh, and, and not to mention the purposeful connections that we're looking to make Absolutely. during the luncheon. It's about you. It's about Absolutely. it's all about you. It's it's about creating this platform for all the women out there. To, That's right. They yep, can to go go to LitaForWomen.com dot com and check out the events yeah. page and and make sure that you register. Share it on your um, social media pages on your Lita Facebook and LinkedIn. Women. Yep. And that way uh, we can all get a chance to connect and, and meet mm-hmm. up and, and uh, you can meet some of these amazing women in person. Yeah. And if any of you are in Atlanta right now uh, and you're listening to our show or you are you live in Atlanta and you want to share our Facebook Live, you can go ahead and share that on your page. Right. And if anyone wants to reach out to us, I would be happy to meet up with uh, any ladies, uh, especially if they're not able to uh, come to the luncheon. But Absolutely. I'd be happy to, to meet up with you uh, before or after. After to say hi, and uh, we'd love for you to to be there. Um, yeah. And yeah, all right, stand by. We are coming back. Okay. All right, great. Thank you. Facebook is a whole nother show. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook always gets the goods. You are listening to right? Lead Up a for whole yeah. show. Speak up to lead up. <laughs> yeah. To reach the show today, please call one eight 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 three four six. And don't forget, Facebook friends, That's you can email us at info at leadupforwomen dot com. Yes. Yes. Anytime you want to get in to contact with us at leadupforwomen dot com. Just like she just said now, right there. Back to this week's show. <laughs> Like she said. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ladies, we are back. We're back. And you are listening to Lead Up for Women, Speak Up to Lead Up. Again, I'm your host, Colleen Biggs. And I'm your co-host, Dee Daniels. Yes. We are on the phone with June Klein. June, say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Facebook world and every other world. Yes. And we have been speaking to June about how she uh, went on with her humor, and she's a humorist, to start a business out of it. And it was from collecting student bloopers uh, when she was uh, working in the industry with student loans and volunteered to speak in front of 300 people and boom, turned into a 30-year career and uh now you're out there blessing everyone that you possibly can be with, um, with your humor. So tell us a little bit of um, what what people can expect when they, you know, how do how do they how do they find you or hear you? Do you speak regularly somewhere? Can they hire you? Oh, sure. Um, I I'm doing three things mm-hmm. right now. I'm in the middle of morphing myself, and. Um, what mm-hmm. I do, I'm I'm a keynote speaker for mm-hmm. corporations and our associations that want to lighten up and um, you know either look at change and our issues over stress underplayed mm-hmm. and they'll bring me in to lighten up but lighten up with a point yeah. or lighten up with a process mm-hmm. or lighten okay. up uh, with a message. So speaking is one way, and then I'm doing uh, some online things. I've got a a mentoring group that I'm doing that I'm working now with, and I loved your other um, your speaker before me was talking about being a badass. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a motorcycle <laughs> rider, so yeah, me too. Yeah, and um, I started this mentoring group called Brass Bra Woman. Brass Bra Woman, yes. and you, brass she is said an ac- bra. An she did say bra. Yep, <laughs> she did say bra, mm-hmm. and. Uh, yeah, it's interesting, and so it's a process that I went through during some very difficult times, personal, emotional, financial, all of the, all of those, and I figured out how that I had to pick myself up and keep on going, and mm-hmm. uh, quite frankly, things weren't quite, weren't funny then, so mm-hmm. um, I ended up looking at this process, which I'll just go ahead and tell you what it is, the brass, br- breathe, um, relax allow, see it the way you want it, and say it the way you want it. So oh, that's that. breathe, relax, mm-hmm. allow, see it the way you want it, say it the way you want it. So it's one thing to know the words. It's another thing to know the process and be able to be in process and to get through whatever it is because you put on your breath bra. Mm-hmm. So that is one of the things, and my humor and incorporating all of that into that has now morphed to, to, to uh, an online mentoring program. Also, I am so tickled, and one of the things I did want to talk to you about is um, 
the four styles, the four comedic styles that mm-hmm. I came up with, and there's a quiz online, so people can go to com and they can take the quiz, and you're going to determine whether you are crazy, mm-hmm. caring, <laughs> cerebral, or caustic. And that is going, <laughs> there's a whole workshop mm-hmm. I mean, around that because you really need to understand if mm-hmm. your humor is charming or harming, helping or hurting right. your business and professional <laughs> relationship. So all that to get to the newest thing that I'm doing that was so by accident on a dare online, I am doing Mud Ups. Mud Mud Ups. Ups. So you can go to Facebook page, Mud Ups. Okay. And you will see that I was, I have a special product line that um, is a facial, but it's more than that. It's medicinal uh, kind of thing. And I went live, one of my, well, it was a team that I was talking with, mm-hmm. and I was doing my, my mud up, and um, they dared me to go online and do it live. And then from that, and me babbling of, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this and all that. I thought, we need to do this online. We need to have the largest mud up online. And so we're doing that now every Monday night. Sweet. We are having a mud up that you can see online. Okay. And the reason I'm I'm putting that back into the quadrants, bringing that up now, is because guess what style I am? Crazy. Uh, I was just going okay. <laughs> to... <laughs> crazy no. and caring so you know not everybody is going to be willing to do this not everybody has your sense of humor not yep. everybody just because you think it's funny it does not mean it's funny to the ears of the listener and they that's will right. be the ones to tell you that's right that's right wow and i also i i love your uh your bravery i love that you um you're crazy <laughs> and caring at the same time, because that tells me that you're daring and you're brave, but you don't care what somebody else thinks. You're out there to lend to uh, the earth and the world what your, what your uniqueness is that makes you June Klein, what makes you you. What makes you June? And that that is so unique. None of us can really understand or comprehend it. Neither should anyone be able to. We just need to get your message and enjoy what you have to offer. And you will change people. You will change the world little by little as you're spreading this message, as you've been spreading this message for the last 30 years. And I want to thank you for being brave and holding your pen and writing your story. Because that's what we all need to do. That's what we all need to do. Thank you. And um, what are the Thank final you. words of how everyone can uh, get in touch with you, June? You said uh, well, Mud Up um, on Facebook, right? Monday nights. Yeah, yeah, Mud Up, and that is um, just it's a Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, join, like, and we can get you hooked up to Mud Up. It's just <laughs> crazy fun. And then um, my... my um, Website again is JuneKlein.com, uh-huh. and that's that's pretty. And then, if you're interested in Brass Bra Woman, you can go look at Brass Bra Woman and see that. And you can also see that on my Facebook page. Okay. You'll see Brass Bra Woman, and you click there as well. Okay. So. so, do we go to your personal June Klein Facebook page to get to the Brass Woman? Mm, no, okay. you can't. You'd have to go to Brass Bra. Woman. Brass Bra Woman to... on Facebook, mm-hmm. uh-huh, or Mud Up on yep. on uh, Facebook, as well as JuneKlein.com. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? That'll do it. All right. Awesome. Well, June, we want to thank you again wonderful. so much for joining us on the show today. You have been wonderful, and I enjoy laughing, and I don't do it enough. I don't. Everybody Amen, can use a little more <laughs> laughter in their life, Jean, and it's I'm so glad you, you are here to help us with that. <laughs> Absolutely. I can show you how. I'mos. We didn't even get to talk about Imos, idiot moment. Oh, oh it's oh, well, you yeah, know, here we go. If you, uh, everyone that's June's friends that's listening today, because I know she's going to share this uh, this Facebook video mm-hmm. uh, on her page. It, all of you, uh, you need to come and uh, spend a few hours with her. We have a lot in store for you, and it's it's about laughter, it's about bravery. Um, Asfana, uh, you know, she does personality testing. There's so much out there, and so much that we're packing into three hours. Absolutely. It's just so. Worth 
support the Very so powerful. And we're going to feed you. I mean, come on. You get fed at the same exactly. time. Exactly. So. Yay. It's and a you, good time. But good time. Thank, you, thank you, June. Information. We can't wait to meet you next week. So thank you so much for joining us Me on too. today's show. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I can't wait. Thank y'all. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. So Bye-bye. as we're preparing for Atlanta, and we have so much that we are working on that we have to um, that we have to do yeah. uh, to get ready for that, uh, we want to invite everyone that we know that listens on the show. We know we, we have thousands, thousands of listeners. Thousands and, and thousands um, of listeners. Plus, we have our Facebook feed. So uh, for any companies out there, uh, we have the platform of a radio. We have the platform of a, a weekly Thrive Thursday newsletter that we Absolutely. do. And if you have a woman out there that mm. inspires you to thrive, all you have to do is send an email to social at leadupforwomen.com and just tell us who the person is and we'll get in contact with you. We'll highlight them on our weekly Thrive Thursday newsletter. Absolutely. We have a monthly newsletter. These are all opportunities for a company to sponsor, get their products out there. Yes. I can have any product sitting in front of me right Right here, or where product, product placement for product placement. We're right. happy to do that for you. Of course, if it fits our culture, we're very, Absolutely. very much about very selective. Who fit, yeah, about yeah, very what selective. We do. Yeah. If so. you know someone, or if you're a speaker mm-hmm. and you have a story to share, and you either want to be on our radio show or you want to be able to be a panelist Send in us one the of our cities, and we'll consider info it. At leadupforwomen.com. Yeah. Yeah. So there's so many areas and platforms that we provide uh, with the radio show and the the luncheons and, the, and we're the doing magazine. those in 12 um, different states yeah, the magazine absolutely. we do bi-monthly there's so many opportunities the events, out yes. there uh, so please just reach out to um, us at any time uh, if and, and and get on our newsletter so you can go to our website and, right. and at the bottom of the front page mm-hmm. on the home page you can get on the newsletter you can see what the uh, see what it's about but you right. know what this is all about being a member of the community absolutely all of this is yeah. about being the community having all the resources in one Mem- Membership. Join, for, yeah. join Lead Up we, for Women. We I just mean, redid our website. Yeah. So I, our members have so much more content out there than they did absolutely. before. We're starting monthly webinars with content. Mm-hmm. And we have a subscription. It, y- you yes. can join Lead Up for Women for twenty four dollars a month. That's it. That's and yeah, you have and like they, really good. think of being coached and having resources and being able to reach the out community. to people you like become you. Become a part of a community and having yeah, monthly absolutely. content that's uh, on a webinar that's free mm-hmm. of charge. And um, you know those cost four or five hundred dollars a month. Connections, yeah. resources. Yeah, uh, we events. don't we don't want to we yeah. want we want it to be for everyone. So get out there and join as a member absolutely. again. It's uh, super easy to do, and uh, we've had. An awesome show today, and I just want to—I I just want to turn it over to you, D, because um, I wanted you just to say a few words before we close. If there's anything yeah. on your mind that you want to share with the women well, that are listening, you know what? I, I just—you know—I'm always excited every time you know you and I get here. You know, it's personal; it's a personal mission. Mm-hmm. You and I both connected because we really, really uh, want to help empower women, mm-hmm. connect women, uh, have resources available. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so the main thing for me, you know, and being here is just making sure that we have this platform and that you realize it's a platform for you. Mm -hmm. Um, Like Colleen had mentioned earlier, we want to highlight different women. uh, So if you feel like, hey, I know somebody that Mm -hmm. I think would be really, really good uh, as a part of Lead Up For Women, send us an Mm -hmm. email, info at leadupforwomen.com. And just make sure you're connecting with us. We have all these social platforms and we have our wonderful social media uh, diva out there, Miss Bill. Uh, and mm-hmm. she's making sure that, you know, if you send an email or, or if you, you go and uh, leave a post, we're going to go look. We're going to, you know, com- mm-hmm. comment and let you know that we're listening to you. And we just want to make sure that we're all being our best. You yeah. know, you're being, you know, the best woman that you can be, that you're uh, doing your best in terms of leadership, family, and, and we're about mm-hmm. all those things. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to be in Lead Up for Women. Some some women are uh, very business and corporate women. Some women are, you know, hey, I've got a family, but mm-hmm. I still want to be connected to what's going on in the mm-hmm. world. And so, you know, just join and become a part of us. So we're really excited, and, and I think... Um, We're going to change the world. We are. We I are know changing we are. I the already world. See it. One show at yeah. a time. One show one, at a time. One magazine. One, luncheon, one at luncheon at a time. We really are on a mission and look forward to bringing so many more powerful women mm-hmm. uh, and, and diverse women. And uh, we're going to talk to some uh, millennials and just everybody. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we want you to come along for the ride. All right. So next week's show, we have Lorraine Tallman. Yeah. She is uh, the founder and uh, of a nonprofit organization, Amanda Hope. Her 
story. She's really she is good. the only person on the show next week. Her, her story is is so magical, mm-hmm. uh, and what she's able to do for children that are um, living with cancer, uh, that are terminal. Oh. Uh, it's it's amazing. You cannot miss that show. No. You need wow. to make sure you're here next week. You need to make sure you listen to that show. And I just want to end by saying to you, ladies out there, and gentlemen, if you're listening, just remember. I want you to think about this. You are the only you yes. that has ever been, and you are the only you that will ever be. That means you are in charge of your future. You are responsible for writing your own story. Do not let other people tell you what your story should be, and do not let anyone hold you back from what That's your right. unique possibilities are because you're unique. We need you on this earth, and we need your voice, and we need your strength. Absolutely. So everyone join us next week, and we will be on the show at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We can't wait to see you next week. Next week. See you guys. Bye. Bye, you guys. All right. Perfect. Great job. Good show. We're all clear. Thank you. (laughs) All right, Facebook. Facebook We just finished up. We're done. How are you guys? I want to thank... Shelly, who joined us today. Hi, Shelly. I want to thank Glenn, who joined us today. Hi, we have Glenn. so many more I, to yes, get through everyone. Yes. But I just want to thank all of you that joined us today. You guys are so amazing, Facebook it Live. We so love having you um, connect with us like that. You guys have the best seat in the house. You do. You guys get way. all the good stuff. You get I mean, to see literally. me nap, you know. All, <laughs> you get to see me messing up with my phone going off. You get to off. see your phone The, song, going, the music started. I don't know what happened. The song started playing. It just went on its own. But you guys get all the good stuff. All right, you guys, we're going to sound <laughs> off and say goodbye. And I'm gonna come All right, bye, you guys. Goodbye, and we will see you guys next week. Take care. Don't be where the button is.